Hey there, it's Robin Zander, and it is Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas to you and yours if you celebrate such. And even if you don't, I hope you are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world right now. I am in a new park, often in the park, and we can hear Riley in the background, though I don't think we can see her at the moment. Spending a couple of days with my family and thinking about gratitude. And this is something we've talked about before, but thinking about the importance of appreciating what we have. A dear friend of mine says, it's all made up anyway, so we might as well make it up in our favor. And I think that this is so true. I had a conversation with my parents last night who are getting, getting up in the years. They're 70. My mother just celebrated her 70th with a giant birthday party a couple of, years, uh, a couple of months ago. And, hi Riley. We started talking about the future of their property and the future of the home that I grew up in, in Sonoma County, California. Not an easy conversation, especially on Christmas. And it was just me and my parents. My older sister was not there, was not joining us for the conversation. It's not easy to talk about things like parents dying. <laughs> and I had it good. I had family who loved me. I had family who was in support of me. I know a lot of folks who don't have that quality of relationship with their parents, who don't, even today, as adults, have a loving relationship. Everyone has different experiences. I have a friend who was raped by her father. I'm not one to tell you how to live your life, but I'll give you a piece of my experience, which is, if we're grateful for what we have, it's all made up anyway. And so you might as well appreciate what you have in the moment, even if it's not perfect. There were definitely times in my childhood where my family wasn't there for me and I really suffered as a result. And that shaped me, that in some way put a chip on my shoulder, but it's created me to be who I am. And I can appreciate that too, just like I can appreciate that I can sit down with my parents and have a tough conversation on Christmas Eve about the future of our family and their property. It's all made up. So you might as well make it up in your favor. It's all make-believe. So you might as well believe something that is in the betterment of the life that you want to live. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for what you've got. <sighs> Because it's passing. The best of it, the worst of it, it's all passing. So enjoy it while you have it. Appreciate the things about your current experience that are going well, and don't dwell on the ones that aren't going well, or take them as lessons learned. Because it's going to end. We're all going to die. And so... Live the life you've got to the fullest that you possibly can, and then make it even bigger. Make it even better. Appreciate even more. Tell someone, even that you're struggling with in the moment today, that you love them. Because that's what this is for. Actually, it's for what we make it for. But that's what this can be, this life of ours. Appreciate it. Appreciate those closest to you. It's going to get better. It's going to stay better. It's going to stay spectacular. It's going to stay how you create it. So you might as well create it great and grand and delicious and live it fully. If you need a sample of that, Riley back here. Living that stick fully. It's what we got. It's not perfect. No one's going to be perfect, but all of us are doing the best we can with what we've got, even if it's totally messed up. So appreciate it. And if it's toxic, leave. And appreciate that you have the ability to leave. And if you don't have the ability to leave, find one thing about what's going on today that you can be grateful for. Make the most of what you've got. Live the life you have. Because it's going to be over. And there's nothing worse than regret. Tell one person you love them. Write down one thing that you're grateful for today. Thanks for watching. Talk soon.